hey hello welcome in this video we are going to learn about for each loop so why we are going to use for each loop everything i will explain in this video only so here first let me explain the requirement so suppose this is our request payload we have to create an integration in a such way that we will pass this request payload this value as a request payload and based on that value it will return back the result as a count of the, the positive number count of the negative number and the count of the zero so suppose for this simple example we have one positive number as a 10 so it will return back response as a positive count one and if you will see we have two negative numbers so it will return back the value as negative count two and if we have only one zero value so it will return back count zero count as one so we have to create integration for that so how first we will identify that the value is negative or positive so in previous video i have explained you how we can use switch to identify the value to ident to add the logic and if you will see we don't have any single value we have the repeating element of the value for adding the loop on the loop we have for for adding the logic on the repeating element we have the loop so what i will do we will add the for each loop on this array element this is the symbol of that array element and we will add the loop on this array element and whenever it will execute the loop it will uh, iterate the loop each and every time it will get a single value and based on the single value we will add the condition so let, let's begin so first we have to create the app driven integration or in generation 3 can be the application type so that we can we can add the request and the response payload so i will give name as xx for each loop integration 0 1 I'm just passing the name as like that. You can use whatever you want. So here we have to add one endpoint that that will trigger the integration. And I have to provide the name. So it will be used as a start rest. And next, as I am going to here, let me expand that one. So as this here we we are going to add the request and the response payload. So I will I will first let me provide the name as for each loop. And here we have to select as a method as a post so that we can configure request and response payload. I will make a tick here, configure a request payload for this endpoint, configure the endpoint to receive response. Now next we have to provide the sample value for the request. So first I will select the sample type as JSON and we have this sample value. I will use this sample value. And here in line I will provide this one. Okay. And now next we have to go for the response payload. This is the say response. We have to provide the sample response. I will select as JSON and we have the response sample as this one. Right now done. So we added the configuration of request and the response payload. And now it's time to if you will see we have first we have to store the count right this count for storing the count. We will create one variable for each and every count so for creating the variable I, I i already told you we have assigned to create a variable so i will use assign and in assign here we will use i will give the name as default assign and here we have to create variable so first i will create a variable as var underscore positive it will store only positive number number count positive count and initially i will provide the value as zero and as in their value we will variable we will create as so now here here we have to delete this variable first so i don't want this variable right so here we have to create new variable for the second variable i will give the name as var underscore negative count and i will assign the value default value as zero right and the second value will be for the zero so i will create here and i will give the name as var underscore zero count and i will assign the default value as zero so now i will update all this variable based on the condition so condition for which i will add the condition we have to add condition for this repeating element right for this repeating element for adding the condition of the repeating element we have the looping statement so here you can see 
in the logic here we have for each loop so once we will add the for each loop it will ask the repeating element and here we have repeating element right this is the repeating element so now i will drag this for each here and in the for each you can see it's asking for the repeating elements and where we have repeating element in request wrapper you can see here this top level array and you can see this is the repeating element this is the icon of the repeating element that you can see the multiple box right so i will drag this here and we have to provide loop variable name right so i will use for each underscore loop var right so we added the loop here and inside the loop we have to add the condition to identify this value as a positive negative or zero for identifying that value we have the statement as a switch so that we can add the logic so i will drag switch here and i will first add the logic for the positive number so from where we will get the value we will get the value from the loop variable only this is the loop variable in this loop variable we have the element as a two to integer number so you can see that whenever it each and every time loop will iterate and it will pick a single values for each and every time and that value will be integer number and we have to add the condition so once if we will add the loop variable here if integer number is greater than zero it means that value is positive number right here the same we will add the conditions if our value is positive number what we have to do is that we have to again use assign to update the value update the value of that variable so here i will give the name as update positive and assign is the activity name right and here we have to select the variable so what variable we will select we will select the var positive count and it will be what will be the value i will i will uh, go for the developer mode and here the value will be whatever value we have in the, the variable that value plus one right so that kind of logic we have to add and now we have to add another condition for the negative number so by clicking here we have to add one so this another condition i will give the name as a negative and here we will add the variable so loop variable we have and i will check if this loop variable is less than zero right less than zero it means our value is negative values so here in this case i will use assign to update the negative variable count so i will give the name as update negative count and here we will select the variable as negative variable yes i will again select the variable as we have var negative and the value what we will assign we will assign whatever value we have in the negative plus one so now we added the condition for the negative now it's time to add the condition for the positive number right so here i will again add sorry a condition for the zero so again add the assign and in the assign here i will give the name and so this point as update zero count and here i will select the variable that the zero variable we have created var zero count and here we will add the value as whatever value we have in the var zero count plus one that's fine so here if you see we are getting error because of the condition i added the wrong condition so instead of zero we added by mistakenly o so now now it's done when i will move you can see the error is removed let me provide the value so here i will give the name as negative that's done so here this will be the positive this will be the negative and this will be for zero so now our 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 this once this loop will iterate each and every time it will update the variable that variable can be the positive variable negative variable or zero variables once this loop will be ended all the variable have the count and now in last we have to map the variable count right so here in the mapping what we will do we will map the variable so in the response wrapper you can see we have this three deep value positive count negative count and zero and we have the variable for same i will map the zero count i will map the positive count sorry it's it's mapped with the negative one delete target node so this positive will be here and this negative will be mapped here so now done we have added the mapping for the very response now go back so you can see this is the basic integration where we added the for each loop to iterate the arrays element array element 
and based on the error element we added the condition based on the condition we updated the value and we added the response in the response now we will save so we have one error related to business identifier click here to provide the value so in the response wrapper whatever value we are getting we will map here only right save and back so you can see we don't have any error now it in configure status we'll go back and activate the integration first activate and then we will run the integration so you can see integration is activated now just click here run so by default we have added the value so this is the same value once i will run it will return back the result you can see this is the positive count as one negative count as two and zero count as one so if i will add another value as zero suppose i am going to add another value as zero this two value as suppose here i will provide the zero so the zero count will be three so once i will run you can see okay somewhere we have done the mapping mistake right so let me let me remove uh, remove the mapping value so here you can see i added two comma here i will remove the first and once i will run again somewhere here we have already one comma and now it will run you can see zero count is three as we have three zero values and the positive is one so if i will replace this zero with the positive number and that the 62 so now positive count will be 3 you can see and the negative count is 0 if i will remove all the negative here the negative count it will return as 0 so here so you can see the negative count is 0 so this is the basic integration where we added the logic to iterate the value on the, the repeating element thank you so much for watching if you have any query you can make a comment on that thank you so much again